What is the key to happiness? Is it more money, a bigger house, fancy cars, another degree to put on your wall? Well, it turns out it's actually none of those. And there's proof now because Harvard did an 80 year study on happiness that started in 1938 where they interviewed 724 teenage boys from all walks of life, from students at Harvard to boys that lived in houses with no running water. And overall, there was one key factor to a person's happiness, no matter where they came from or how successful they did or did not become. And over the course of 80 years, Harvard found out that the number one thing that mattered the most to an overall happiness that a person had was this the quality of their relationships. Now, this is not how many friends they had on Facebook or how many people they had stored inside of their cell phones, but the quality and the depth of their closest relationships. And they started this study when these men were in their late teens and kept it going all the way until their deaths, interviewing them every two years. And they sat down in their living rooms. They got their medical records. They talked to their doctors, they did brain scans, they interviewed their wives, their children, and over 2,000 of their grandchildren over the course of the years. And over and over again, they found that happiness or lack of happiness came from their relationships. But there was one interesting finding that the professors did not expect. The Harvard professors learned that the happiest people in the study were not only deeply connected with friends and family and their community, but they actually lived longer than those that were not. And they realized that social connections keep us healthier. And loneliness is toxic. Loneliness kills. In fact, 70 different studies across the world with 3.4 million participants found out that social isolation and loneliness are linked to premature death. And they found that the men that had the greatest levels of satisfaction in their relationship when they were 50 years old were the healthiest. And the ones that had the lowest levels of satisfaction in their relationships at 50, they didn't even make it to their 80s. So what can we learn from these men over this 80 year study? If you wanna be happy, then there's one thing that you should focus on, and that's the quality of your relationships. And that's what the people that are around you, the ones that you are closest to. Sure, go out and get the success you want, the money, the house, the cars, the business, or whatever else that you desire. That's your prerogative. But don't think that those things will make you happy. Don't think that they'll fill a hole that you feel inside of you. The only thing that can make you truly fulfilled are deep, meaningful, close relationships. So love the ones that are around you and put your relationships first and work on developing them. And the success, the money, the fulfillment, the health and the happiness will naturally make their way into your life.